What's up YouTube, it's the Life of Draco. Welcome to my channel, this is my first video. And what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is how to clean your guys' Glock. I have a Glock 21, Gen 4, chambered in 45 ACP. It's a real nice gun, I like it. I like the way it fits in my hand. It fits real good. Just to let you guys know, I am clear. We do practice gun safety around here and good trigger discipline. So make sure you guys keep your finger off the trigger at all times. So what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is how to clean and take apart your Glock. So what you guys wanna do is you gotta take your clip out first step. Then you're gonna make sure your Glock is clear. My Glock's clear, I can see straight up. You guys are gonna wanna check down your barrel, make sure there's nothing in there. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull your Glock back until you can feel it unlock. Then you're gonna wanna take these two pins on the sides and then you're gonna wanna pull them down until both of them are all the way down. Then you let your slide go forward and you pull the trigger. You should see your, your slide go up just a little bit like that. Then you're gonna wanna take your slide off your gun and now your Glock is disassembled. So what you're gonna see when you take the slide off is you're gonna see your recoil spring, your barrel, and all your inner parts right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your spring off. So what you do to take it off is you grab the bottom where the barrel's at away from the barrel and you just pull up, it's that simple. And you just push your barrel up, pull it out, and now your Glock is taken apart completely. You should have your frame, set your frame somewhere. We're gonna clean that later. The first thing I like to do is clean my, my slide. So I take my gun scrub, and I just spray everywhere, just all throughout here. It's okay. You could do it in your room, you could do it in your garage, you could do it outside, wherever you feel like you want to clean your gun clean your gun I personally like to clean it in my room but that's just me and it all depends on where you want to clean your gun because remember at the end of the day you bought it you're the owner just want to give it a nice little scrub down mine jars real fast I don't know if yours does so I like to give it two to three coats. So the first one's a little heavy, the second one's light. I don't think we'll need a second one or a third coat on this one because I haven't really shot this one much. So now, my inside of my slide is clean. <clears throat> now you're gonna wanna move on to your barrel. You're gonna wanna take this brush and your barrel. You're gonna wanna take your gun scrub, which you just used to clean your slide, and you're gonna wanna straighten it down directly into the barrel, just like this. It's okay, it's gonna come out. If you're in your room, just put a towel on the floor, you'll be fine. Then you're just gonna wanna clean and twist. Make sure you guys twist so you can get in every little crack and crevice to this barrel. Again, I like to do two to three coats of this, but I think this time I'm gonna just do two because it's pretty clean. I do clean my gun about once a week, so four times a month. Just give it a few scrubs. And then it should be looking all nice and shiny, just like that. And then what I like to do last is I like to take my recoil spring and my gun grease. I like to grease up my recoil spring so it shoots smooth. I put it on there just like that. And then what I do is I take it with the palm of my hands and then I just roll it. And just roll it in my hands. Make sure I get every inch of this recoil spring that I possibly can. So it should look something like that. It's okay. Your hands is gonna be a little bit messed up, but that's just what happens when you clean your gun. Go ahead and just clean your hands off.
then what you want to do is I like to take this and I spray it with my gun with my gun scrub as well. So I can make sure no dust is in here. I just do one coat with this usually. Because it usually gets everywhere. And then how to put your Glock back together is you take your slide, take your barrel, you slide your barrel back up through the hole. So it should look something like this. Make sure this side is facing up. So like this. So it should look something like that. And then you wanna take your recoil spring, make sure that piece can fit into here and then the same way you took it off is the same way you put it on you squeeze and you you put it right there so it should look something just like that and then you're gonna want to take your polymer frame so on the on the back of the Glock it has these pieces right here and then right here you should want to take those pieces and line it up And it's just like right back. Make sure when you put it on, it functions properly. Make sure you can put it down with the slide release. And all good to go. Then you can put your clip back in. I'm going to the range later, so I'm putting in this clip. Got my 26 round KCI mag made in Korea. It's gonna be my first time shooting it. Stay tuned for a range video. It's coming soon. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Peace out.